Ella Whelan is tonight's outsider. Now, at First Minister's question today, Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross grilled scheming Sturgeon as to how the dangerous double rapist Adam Graham was allowed to enter a women's prison. Watch. The First Minister says she doesn't have enough information to decide if this double rapist is a man. He's a rapist. He has a penis. What further information can the First Minister possibly need? When he comes out of jail, will Nicola Sturgeon and her government consider him a man or a woman? As always, Queen Nick refused to answer that very simple question, despite the fact that the Scottish public are in opposition to her trans extremism. And that was plain to see when the pompous and biased debate show Question Time visited Scratch Clyde University in Glasgow. The panel of the show, comprised of the trans woman Indy Willoughby and the woke political establishment on the whole. So it was left to the journalist and author, the brilliant Ella Whelan, to stand up for Women's Rights Watch. And the reason why it's important to stand by the idea of fact being able to something that you can hold in your hands in society is because if we let go of that, not only is it bad for women, and not only for, is it bad for I'm collecting sorry, data, I, I need to but it's on. also I, bad I, for trust quickly. in politics because a lot of these lot okay. are feeding you a whole Gosh, load of nonsense. Okay. I mean, this is essentially what you would hear in 1970s about uh, gay couples and that it was totally unnatural for a man sex. to be with another man or no, a woman no, they never to be talk with another woman. Ele it's Ele the same finish. conversation rehashed and dressed up in a completely different okay. way. So Ella, this was an absolutely fascinating conversation I found because up until now the British Bashing Corporation, as I call them, just don't tend to have uh, these trans debates and I guess you sort of or a sledgehammer uh, to the orthodoxy that has developed around these issues on the Beeb. Uh, how were you treated by them afterwards? Uh, well, I'm, I'm much more of a fan of the BBC than um, you are. I actually think that the Question Time team are to be t commended because uh, no matter which way you cut it, this is an issue that um, strikes fear into the heart of broadcasters um, and you know it was run it was a very brave move. I think that it was a, I think it was a step in a different direction that you're right the BBC has up until yeah. now been overcautious yep. about talking about this um, perhaps some people might say it has been cowed but there was you know this was a um, it was very professionally run it was everybody was given their fair hearing and actually there was a, a really interesting moment where um, we were discussing the case of Adam Graham, uh, who now calls himself Isla Bryson, and everybody, I was the last to come in, and everybody had used the name Isla Bryson up until that point. And when I said, when I used his name, Adam Graham, um, Fiona Bruce said, you know, who now calls himself Isla Bryson, which is fair enough. But uh, in previous, I think in previous moments, that would have been described as dead naming and it would have been shut down. But I think the Question Time team and lots of other um, broadcasters now realise that, particularly in this case, but also more broadly, you know, it is not bigoted yeah. to talk about sex as, as true and Indeed. irrefutable. So I, I, I think they're to be commended. Indeed. And I think, thank goodness, they did have your voice there. I would say that Fiona Bruce appeared, as a viewer at least, to be incredibly nervous with the conversation. There were numerous times when she tried to dial it down. But I wanted to show you, you all obviously remember this, but in case you didn't see this, there was a, a really fascinating moment when a member of the audience uh, came out to support Ella's position against India Willoughby. Watch what happened. Don't allow men into female spaces. For good reason. There are good men and there are predatory men. We should not allow trans into female spaces. So, so you're trans there are women good trans men. and there are predatory trans. And that's a fact. Women have to be safe. Yeah. Women and trans children have to be safe. In my opinion, you can't change sex. That's my opinion. Now, she had the support of the audience, from what I could tell. But again, that is not a view that the BBC will often put on air because women like her have been derided now as either transphobes or TERFs by polite society, by the political establishment, whatever you want to call them, mm. uh, for the past few years.
That felt like a very significant moment to me, her intervention. It was, and it's a difficult one to um, get across because, you know, I think the vast majority of people understand and, and believe that not all trans, not even close to all trans people are a problem, you know, that actually, you know, you don't want to go down the rabbit hole of suggesting that, and this is where perhaps I disagree with some gender critical feminists, that simply being in a space with a man causes a problem or is a danger. You know, there's, um, I'd actually quite like lots of areas of life to be far more unisex because, you know, it gets, you can get a bit tiresome just hanging out with women, you know. So the, the, I'm being silly, but, you know, in general, I think that we should avoid talking about this as a sort of a fear and a danger. But actually, that woman wasn't really doing that. What she was saying was, and she, you know, actually a part of the clip was where she said, um, I remember her saying, I mean, you know, harm at all. And she and she wasn't... Uh, she, she wasn't feeding India Willoughby or any of the politicians full of nonsense. She, she was being truthful. She was saying, I don't, well, I don't have any kind of row with you. All I want to say is that sex is, <laughs> sex is real. I don't think that you can change your sex. And therefore, if there are places in society where there's single sex, you know, for a reason, whether that's, I don't know, pe women of a religious faith wanting to go to the s swimming pool at a certain time on their own, um, whether it's more intense spaces like rape crisis centres, or, you know, whether it's the fact that we know that because of the trials and tribulations of puberty, generally most teenagers don't want to get changed in front of uh, one another, boys and girls. No, indeed. That's not, that's not a controversial thing to, or at least it shouldn't be a controversial thing to say. No, indeed. Now, now look, it was interesting to me that the BBC chose to put India Willoughby on that panel to represent uh, the trans side of things. I mean, you know, I absolutely don't believe in no platforming people, so fine if they want to do that. But I guess I was surprised because India Willoughby isn't a good face of the trans community. I mean, this is a woman who is an out-and-out -out Twitter troll. Uh, she is incredibly aggressive and personally attacks people who she disagrees with politically. So I was quite surprised that they gave her that position to be the face of the trans community, but they did. And she did, uh, I guess, the old strategy of trying to say that you were essentially like a homophobe mm. from the 1970s, which seems to be one of her big attack lines. Which is what about did you make of her appearance? Well, look, I, you know, the I don't know India Willoughby. Um, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to really meet with her in such a short space of time. I have nothing to say about her as a person. Um, <clears throat> but in terms of the political point she made it during our interaction on the show, the argument that this is just like um, homophobia of the yeah of years gone by, the seventies and eighties isn't true because um, the thing that's markedly different is that gay people and lesbian people and that whole uh, very you know progressive movement for an increase in civil liberties an increase in people's rights a sort of celebration of personal freedom never pretended that something was was that reality didn't exist they never the, the, the fundamental problem that most people have with the current trans discussion is not people dressing differently it's not people calling themselves different names it's not any of that but you know the vast majority of people have a problem with saying with being forced to say what, what they know isn't yeah, true the, the that sex is real biology, yeah. isn't it? look i just want to finally show you this uh great moment where you struggle to get a straight answer from an smp politician this was you questioning the transport minister jenny gilruth this individual, a man or a woman? I'm sorry, this individual is a rich... No, 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 the individual... We know that, we know that. I want to know, I want to know, is sorry, this individual Ella, Ella, a man or a talk, woman? Please, to make these you haven't decisions answered to the question. Our prison population safe. I have answered the question. It, as no, you haven't, you haven't. But can I just say, Fiona, if I can cut... You know, the reason why well, I think... Should we give Jenny one but, more chance to answer the question? Carry because, on, yeah. Because the audience I'd love they to want hear your answer. I really would. This individual is a rapist. That is the uh, most important uh, thing. She wouldn't answer, neither does Sturgeon, and that's their problem. Uh, and it's just so pathetic. I mean, if you think that, if you really do believe your own policy in relation to this gender reform bill, say that you think she's a woman, and then face up to the consequences of that position, I think it's... Exactly. It's the end of the SNP. Because that's what your law does, and I think it is. I think this is going to be the end of the line for the SNP, because... Mm -hmm. They are now uh, denying reality and also denying the reality of their bill. Alan Willen, well done. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Tell us the story.